yeah, I would say, you know, it's a it's a final. Um, um, it's against Celtic, so yeah, I would I would definitely say it's one of the biggest games um, as a captain of, of the club. Yeah. This um, team has been building towards this moment for quite a long time. What makes you think that now is the time you can deliver silverware finally? Well, I've got full belief in this squad. You know, we've 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 came a long way um, since the gaffers came through the door. Um, the squad's improved massively, and you know we've we've gone toe to toe with some big European giants. So you know, it all comes down to the day who who wants it more. And you know, if we you know fully back the the game plan, and you know, then we fully go into it committed. You know, then I full belief in my squad. You've been here quite a while, um, but you. <laughs> You've been dis- described by a former Celtic striker as a serial loser because you've not won a big trophy yet. How do you feel about that accusation? And do you think that Sunday's the time to change that? Um, well, I think obviously people's comments, like um, from pundits, and obviously is irrelevant, you know. Um, but you know, I am here to do a job. I'm here to I'm here to win trophies. Um, and obviously, previously we've not done that. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm fully, fully believe in this squad of uh, what we're capable of doing. The perception that this Rangers team has not reached the level of Celtic yet won't change until you win a trophy or you beat Celtic in a big game like this. Um, you know, we well, we we have to we have to win games. We have to win trophies. You know, all the boys who have signed here want to win trophies. So we've not came here to be second best. Um, Obviously, it's a great occasion for the fans. Um, you know, we want to win silverware for the fans, so we've we've got to do everything in, in our hands and be and be be going out there on Sunday, um, uh, trying to trying to bring back us some silverware. Do you think Sunday could be a transformational game for you? In the sense, if you can get that monkey off the back, is it where it takes the club to another place and puts it in another sort of mental, mental place as well? I think it's obviously it'd be. Be great in, in obviously in the path of the season. Um, you know, it's a it's the first cup of the season, and you know, it, it might it might give you a, a good a good way down down the rest of the season. But we've got a big month. Um, but yeah, we're, we're full focus is obviously trying to trying to go into this weekend and trying to bring back some silverware. Last year, just that come up last week, we captain the club a hundred times. You know, past that, I mean. Are you now feeling more settled into this, this role as captain? Is that something that you're, you know, you're enjoying doing this, this captain situation? Um, yeah, ever since the gaffer gave us the captain's armband, you know, I've enjoyed the the responsibility and the role, and you know, it, it makes me want to do better, especially for myself, the club, and the boys. You know, it obviously it brings obviously more attention, but you know, I relish off off the pressure and. You know, I just want to repay back the gaffer and obviously the lads and the fans. You know, with with, with silverware. So, what's your style? Are you one from having big speeches in the dressing room, or is it, is it sort of more sort of it's No, I'd obviously like to lead by example, but if I need to say anything, they change them after the game. You know, the gaffer says something, and we've got loads of good leaders in that squad, and we all we all talk. Um, all depends uh, on the on the timing um, and where we're at. You know, able to brush off this on Wednesday night. I mean, I suppose that must be you want to be taking that confidence you've had for the last couple of weeks and it's on this game, but it's been a sore one on Wednesday. Yeah, it was it was disappointing, you know, to go two 0 up and to get back to two two and losing two two points. Um, but you know that that game's done now. You know we can't mourn over that game. You know we can't rectify anything about that game. We've just got to now work hard and prepare right for Sunday. And you know we've got to obviously defend for our lives and on Sunday because we know it's going to be a tough game. And you know if we if we get that job right, you know we know we're going to create chances. James, you had that run where you can put the other thing was you didn't concede a goal. Last four games you've conceded in three of the games. But why do you think that is? Um, I just think it's um, just sometimes it's, it's came down to error mistakes. You know, just simple things. Um, so you know, if you you cut out those simple things, a bit more concentration, you know, um, including myself previously in the weeks that I got criticised, you know, simple things. If you cut out, you know, 
you can bounce straight back and you be you, you can be really solid again. So I full belief in in that our back four and even as a team um, that we we can easily rectify those mistakes and you know get back to clean sheets. Would you accept though that when you play an opposition like Celtic, that there's no room, there's no margin for, for error with those type of mistakes because they will be punished? Yeah, you know. Um, it's just like playing the European games, you know. The higher level you go up, the higher level of players you go up. You know, you're gonna get punished um, with the mistakes that you're gonna you're gonna do. So, yeah, we know that we can't afford to give any mistakes. Um, you know, we know that Celtic are gonna we're gonna have gonna have some chances. So, you know, we've just gotta defend really good on the day. What do you think the team has to do differently and better from the first game at Ibrox with Celtic won? I believe in competing more. I didn't think I didn't feel that we we competed. Um, the best of our ability, even the first half, you know, we didn't get really in the faces. Um, so, you know, it, we've got to compete first and foremost. Um, we know it's going to be a battle and we've got to go toe to toe with them. You know, some type of form goes out the window, previous games. All comes down to once it more on the day. Um, you know, obviously, me and the gaff and the, the senior lads are going to get around all the boys and, you know, and I'm sure we don't have to speak to them, but they're all going to be up for it. that you know, we're going to be up for, up for the occasion. James, the <coughs> Celtic are going for the 10th straight title <coughs> trophy. Um, you guys are going to win your first major trophy uh, coming back in the top flight. Who do you think is under most pressure? Um, I think it comes down to just on the day. Um, I wouldn't say who's in more pressure. You know, I think it don't come really in form. So I think it just comes down to who wants it on the day and you know who go, who really wants it. Would you accept that the Rangers though maybe have to prove? Um, well, we're obviously we've been without um, you know, silverware for a while, you know. So we need to produce silverware for the fans. The fans have been waiting long enough. Um, so you know, if you want to say that, you you know, we have to have silverware. What would it mean to you though if you were actually to be the man to end that drought and lift that trophy? I'd be obviously be a proud moment, but it'd be a proud moment for the for the team and how far we've came, and obviously the management team and the fans and the whole club. Um, you know, I've got great belief in this squad, so I believe if we turn up on the day, you know, we can we can go toe to toe with these. Yeah. Take you back to Wednesday night. It was obviously an unpleasant incident. You got hit with something, chucked from the crowd. Have you spoken to authorities about that to try and find out who who was responsible at all? Um, no, I just I spoke to our security team after the game, and they were made um, they made us aware um, of what was thrown. Then you know it's something that's uh, in their hands. But obviously, you know, shouldn't be should have to keep on going through these things of fans' actions. But you know, we just have to address it. Just your first game, was first final as captain. Do you speak to any any former captains from the club? Just a wee bit of advice, anything, a wee bit of motivation, anything like that. Um, no, I've not spoken to anybody. Um, I think I've got one of the best previous captains, you know, um, with a gaffer. And, you know, it's it's obviously a game against Celtic, one of, you know, our biggest rival. It's a cup game. You know, we've played them in the cup before, obviously it's a final. But it's it's one game where, I said previously, you know, you've, you've got to got to turn up on the day and give it all. Is he done anything different? I know you obviously had a game the week, so that's sort of one major preparation thing, but is his manager done anything? Definitely, just to reflect the sort of size of the occasion that's coming. Well, it's, a, it's another game, but the, obviously the magnitude of the game is bigger. But it is another game, you know. We're preparing like it's another game, and you know it's against Celtic, and so our preparations will be all about them. Um, but nothing's nothing's really not, not changed at all. Did your viewpoint put your hand changing definitely? Obviously, the club had a, such a bad record going before that. It's a bit thing, one of our, our hearts, but. Does that feel like it's sort of refreshed your, your thoughts and or your your views on going to the international stage? Um, no, um, you know it's it's a it's a it's a great venue. You know we've obviously came on the winning side against Hearts. Obviously previously we we've been on the losing side. Um, so there's not really much much you can say about that one now. James, there's a bit of a doubt over Celtic's left back position when the players is cut tight, two players possibly injured. If that is the case, is that an area that you personally would to exploit given the width that handed? Um, it comes down to the to the tactics that we get given off the, the management. So I would not know at this moment in time. <laughs>
And you talked about guys didn't come here to be second best. Would you accept that uh, Rangers are now at a stage where delivering a trophy is the minimum required for the for the season to be successful? Uh, definitely. You know, I think it's been the minimum. You know, well, definitely at the start of this season, hundred percent. The way we've came um, in eighteen, nineteen months that we've been together. Um, you know, you look back at our European run where we got knocked out by progress, and now. You know, it's in our hands to get to the last 32. So we've came a long way. The, stro- uh, the squad's strong in depth. Um, so, yeah, we, we have to deliver, you know. Like I said, the fans have waited long enough. And, you know, certainly some of the boys in the change room, including myself, have waited long enough. You know, we, we need to start to, deli- uh, to deliver. How hard has it been watching Celtic win trophies after trophies? It's obviously, obviously, you know, being our rival, it always hurts you. You know, you never, you know, I never liked losing when I was five years old. You know, I don't. It's, I can imagine a lot of the boys, all, all the boys in there, don't like losing. You know, we're, we're all strong mentally. And, you know, we're all win, we're all like winners. We all want to win things, even in training. You can see it. Um, so, you know, we we want we need to go on the day and want it more.